Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Welcome off-road peoples. Today, we're gonna to talk about and show you the new TerraFlex Olympus beadlock wheel with the Nomad deflator technology in it. For anyone that hasn't run or know about beadlock wheels, simple thing is, there's two pieces, sometimes more. This ring is going to clamp your outer bead on your wheel. This allows you to run less pressure and not lose your bead in a situation that might push too much on the sidewall. These take much longer to mount and balance than your typical wheels. And some places they're not exactly legal. They were designed for off-road use only, but many people, as you see on Instagram, run them all over the place, so it must be okay. We're gonna show you putting the wheel on and seating the bead nicely putting the ring on, we're then going to put all the washers on and we're gonna put the bolts that came with. Um, we're gonna run them all down. We're gonna to hand torque them in a star pattern. We also have to put on these. This is where you're gonna put your TPMS sensor. It's gonna go in here. And then your other one, this is the fun stuff. This is the Nomad deflator. So once this is set, you don't have to bring deflators with you. This will dump more air than any other deflator on the market. So by the time you get around to the final tire, you can already close all the other ones because they're already dumped all the air. We're gonna lube the O-ring. Everything's easier with lube, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like you've done this before. Check my own fans out, you'll know. Gotta be careful with those sensors. They're expensive and they break. Looks like a slow-mo shot right there. Slow-mo walk. Very nice. It's awesome. <laughs> now, if you are unfamiliar with beadlock wheels and haven't mounted them yourself, and if you don't feel comfortable, I strongly recommend you take them to a professional that's mounted them before, as it's a little bit of a tricky process and you don't want things going wrong on the trail or on the highway. It comes with a big instruction sheet. This is very typical to most beadlock wheels I've seen and you just need to follow it very closely and be diligent. There's no rush here. And for the tires, we're gonna put on these. Since they take so long, I'm gonna go with the tire I trust the most, the tried and true Nitto Trail Grappler. We've never had a failure with one of these tires. They balance well every time. So if I'm gonna spend hours putting the bead locks on, I only wanna do it once. You gotta lubricate the inside of the tire. Make sure you got the right part that you wanna go on. Some tires have an inside and outside. Nittos have two different styles, so just make sure all five years look the same. You can either use soap or water, but I'm gonna use tire loops. This is for you, Joe. Did it work? It worked! It's all those years of tobogganing, Joe. <laughs> GT racer down the snow hills here trying to get my maple syrup. <laughs> I've just always done it with a set of screwdrivers. Being very careful to just make sure the lip is all the way nicely seated around before we put the ring on. Yeah. 
Okay, when you go to put these bolts on, you want to put some anti-seize on them so that someday you'll get them out again because of dissimilar metals and all that other fun stuff. Always start them by hand, and then if you feel comfortable using a small little zip gun, just don't go over the torque spec and do it in a star pattern, making sure it seats properly to see if we need a shim or not. Okay, now that we've seated the ring nicely, um, using a little zip gun, and we haven't went over the torque, we've determined that you do not need a trim ring. And so now we're just going around doing 32 foot pounds, zigzagging all around. You change your wheels more than you change your underwear. That's not true. I have a different pair all the time. Just to give you an idea, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavier bead lock. We got all these extra bolts. We've got extra things going on. We have an aggressive mud tire. This took one ounce of weight to balance. That's why I use these. There you go. Now that we got these dead sexy wheels we got from TerraFlex onto the vehicle, we're gonna try and figure out how to set this tire deflator thing. Now, unlike normal, we read the instructions and it tells us, use the Allen key, crank the set screw all the way in. There we go. Now it says open this. So we found out with this setup, in order to get it to our 12 PSI we usually air down to, we had to just bottom out the deflator and back it off four and a half turns. We verified it on another one of the wheels. It worked mint, so we're all good to go. Wait, 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 wait. Stay tuned because we are nowhere near done with this Jeep. So make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, because this is nowhere near ready. Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call. Be kind and smash that like button. And hey, we have an online store. Check it out. <laughs>